Megan, where is it? Woo! It's day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. And by tomorrow afternoon, one team of anglers will be hoisting the trophy for the most prestigious title in college fishing. Ah, I think it might be a keeper too. We're in Florence, Alabama, on the shores of quite possibly the best ledge fishing lake in the country. Pickwick Lake is loaded with fish out deep this week. Finding keeper bites won't be a problem. It's finding those fish over the four pound mark that'll make the difference. Yes! Who'll get the big bites and rise to the top amongst this field of college fishing's finest? Find out, starting now. Oh, fuck! Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together. New leaders. Big Silly! New Big Bass of the Tournament! There's your chances right there, folks! Welcome out onto Pickwick Lake for day one action in the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. 330 of college fishing's best young anglers have qualified to put their skills to the test out on these famous Tennessee River ledges. Summertime is set in across Northwest Alabama and the conditions are primed for a boatload of fish to be caught out deep. Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon representing Bethel University, the current leaders for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, are focusing their efforts solely out deep for the next two days. Um, it's hot, it's 90 something degrees, humidity's high, no wind, can't hardly catch a breath. And uh, that's TVA for you. These fish are current based. All the bait has done move deep. That's where the best oxygen content in the water is. Bite. That's where the best oxygen content in the water is. And so uh, what that does, the fish are going to follow the bait. And they get out there on these offshore shell beds, um, creek turns, and main river ledges. And uh, they just group up by the hundreds because that's their primary feeding zone this time of year um, based on those conditions. So um, they're simply following the bait. And it's our job to figure out when, when dinner time is. Good one. Ah, I don't know. There you go. Might as well just be sure about that. Just one one fish closer to the limit. He ain't very big. We'll have to get rid of him, but he's better than nothing. That's been on sure. That's a keeper. Maybe. Super. Maybe. Checking now with the second place team in the Cabela School of the Year, Auburn University. Cole Bertishaw and Peyton McCord just landed their second fish of the morning. So far, fishing has been tough for these two Alabama anglers. And with that fish not measuring, the two will have to work hard to stay focused. So far, the morning has been slow. Uh, we knew there was a chance of that. We hadn't had much current, so if you ain't got a school that's fired up, it's kind of hard, kind of hard to get them fired up. But the morning's been slow, but we got a long day. We fished till four o'clock today, so. We ain't getting too stressed out. We just gotta pull up on the school at the right time. You can load the boat quick out here. One team that's giving up on the deep bite and scrapping their plans this morning is the UNA team of Nathan Doss and Jackson Pardue. Leaving their starting spot out on a community hole, the third place team in the School of the Year race has decided to go in search of schooling fish with a topwater presentation. We pull up to the bridge looking for a couple topwater fish. They've been Real active here once the sun got up. Um, I found them in practice. Tuesday, I think we I found them up here Tuesday, then we checked it again yesterday. There are still some real quality topwater fish. Do you just have one? Megan? 
keep her. No, it's not. Ah. I, I felt it get tight. I never heard a thing. Ask him. I hope so. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this fish catch will post on YouTube. To see full episodes and other content, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe at youtube.com slash college bass fishing. Okay, time now for our first break. And when we come back, we continue following the pairing of Doss and Pardue from UNA. Their topwater bite continues, but the circumstances call for a bit of improvising on their behalf. We'll explain coming up next. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. I just broke off. That thing float? Yeah, it does, he doesn't have any space. We're back out on the water for coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Nathan Doss and Jackson Pardue, representing the University of North Alabama, have several small keepers in the box and are looking to upgrade. Breaking his line on the previous cast, Jackson is about to be in for a real surprise. Hey. Hey, here. Here's your braid. That fish on it, I bet. Yeah, he's on it, dude. Is he really? Yeah. I don't know what to do right now. Is it big? I don't think he knows I have him. I feel like a Nathan Martin deal again. Ah! I got my oh, top water back. <laughs> That's a cluster. <laughs> cool. Although that fish doesn't measure up, it could help provide momentum for these two anglers to build off of as the day progresses. Sorry, sorry. One team experiencing a flawless morning is the Bethel pairing of Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon. As a school, Bethel University enters this event needing only to weigh a limit of bass to secure the Cabela's School of the Year title. With a limit in the box now, their sights are still set on the prize. But the big key about this tournament is that we're leading School of the Year. And uh, so we just need a couple guys to have a solid finish and we'll win that. That's the main goal for this tournament, more so than anything else. That's what matters is school of the year. Bethel comes to Pickwick Lake with a lead of more than 600 points over their closest competitor. The teams behind them in the standings aren't letting that large lead discourage them. They're entering this tournament determined as well as pleased with their performances this season. There's a bunch of great, great fishermen out here. But we have to do our duty as it being our home lake to be better than they are. Another big win like this, it'd get us up into there, maybe the third, second, second place maybe, but I don't think anyone's catching Bethel. They're, uh, they're, they're a whole football field ahead of everyone else in the, in the points, so that's going to be tough. But, you know, hey, a top five finish at the end of the year, that's, that's pretty awesome, so we're excited about it. Another accolade up for grabs this week is the opportunity to fish in the Ranger Cup University Challenge at Lake Gunnersville this fall. The highest finishing Ranger Cup qualified team in this event will earn the right to compete in this prestigious Team of the Year challenge. This is an outstanding contingency program that will award one group of anglers the ultimate fishing trip. As the temperatures continue to rise and current increases, 
One of the teams heating up today are Bennett Pierce and Taylor Morton from Arkansas Tech University. Oh my God. Smallmouth? Oh. It's a good smallmouth. Nice. There you go. One thing is going to help. Oh, smallmouth are heavy. With five fish in the live well for around 13 pounds, they'll need to upgrade several of their fish. From what they saw in practice, this spot has the potential to help them cull up. Yeah, there's tons of them. This is our biggest school we marked. There's thousands of them on the graph. Found it Monday and caught a few in it. And Came back every other day checking on it, make sure no one was on it. And no one was on it. There's a few boats on it right now, but it's not really bothering us, so we're doing all right. We're hoping for, for some big ones. Like Bennett was saying, hopefully that current will start pulling. We really haven't seen it the past couple days. When we did the best here on, on Monday, they were pulling like 50,000 units, and we haven't seen that again yet. Every time we've checked, it's always started around there to run about that around like four or five, six o'clock. So we're hoping they're going to do it a little earlier today. But we have no control over that. All we can do is fish clean and, and grind it out. We know they're here. Right there he is. One. Not gonna help. Gotta weed through a lot of those. Yeah, we've caught plenty of these right here today. The bite is continuing to pick up and more fish catches are being reported amongst the field. Nathan Sheehan and Dustin Jones from the University of Kentucky are reaping the benefits of more current flow. Going pretty good. Uh, it's really got a lot better in the last 15, 20 minutes. We've made a couple big coal and uh, so far, so good. I'd like to get a couple more big ones and hopefully be able to rest this spot. <laughs> Just in the past hour, they've managed to land several quality bass, some of the bigger fish we've seen so far today. With a limit estimated to be around 13 pounds, a solid cull could push them up over the 15 pound mark. No, this is definitely a better one on the day. I could be wrong. Here he comes, he's coming right up to you. Oh, yes. That's a call. That's a decent one. That'll definitely call. Oh, man. Dude, you're hammering them. Yeah, I know. Man, it's that, it's that special jig. The bite is picking up out on Pickwick Lake, and when we return, the fish catching continues. Who will be able to locate the right size fish to be sitting atop the leaderboard after day one? Stay tuned to find out right here on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. Yeah. 
The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Florence Lauderdale Tourism. Go with the flow. And by Denali Rods. Experience the Denali Advantage. I think so. Welcome back to coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. We're a little more than halfway through on day one and the bite is picking up. Zach Elliott and Riley Rolette from Northern Illinois University are hooked up with a possible keeper. I think it might be a keeper too. As we've seen so far today, the fishing conditions have improved as the day has progressed. Zach and Riley have noticed the change as well, crediting their increased number of bites to the wind. With the wind picking up, I mean, we can actually start using some moving baits and finding some success. So I'm just dredging the 6XD because it's four, about six foot and it drops to 12 to 14. So I'm dredging it and dropping it down the creek. Going. Oh, you got two. What? <laughs> nice time to pull that. Is that two head. keepers? <laughs> One. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? A double is a great way to upgrade your limit in a hurry. With one of those fish helping the cause, the team from Northern Illinois now has five fish for roughly 12 pounds. Another team catching a large number of fish is Matt Fielder and Crossley Welch from Missouri State University. Having recently graduated, the two are fishing this event for their final time. Uh, we just graduated, so this is our last time at uh, this event, and this is definitely our favorite event because both of us love ledge fishing. That's kind of where a lot of our best finishes have come on tournaments, so um, just a matter of you know getting lucky, and I really thought these up, uh, uh, little guy, uh, really thought these ledges would have a lot of people on them, but I want to start throwing something big here. Got your five pounder on a drop shot, now you don't want to let it down. It's going all right, uh, we got three in the box right now, uh, I'm just trying to grind it out. The bite has been all right, um, seem to be catching them. Mid. Thank you. No. I paused it. Paused it and started slow rolling it. Once I got down there and started dredging it. A crankbait can be a great way to catch fish out on deep ledges and get those schools fired up. One of the key factors to effectively fishing a crankbait is having the proper equipment for the task at hand. I'll tell you this, another key has been uh, this Abu Garcia Revo winch. It's been an absolute awesome crank and reel and it's got one right there. Got one? Yeah. It's the best crank and reel made. I don't know if he's any size, Bob. No, he's not a size. Go ahead, go. It, uh, a lot of times with crank and reels, you have a problem with the suckers wear you out. But, that, that winch, you can do it all day. Crank it as hard as you want and they want it cranked absolutely blistering down there. They don't want it sitting around. And uh, that really helps you get it down there and get it going. The Bethel team of Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon have been catching fish all morning. They currently have well over 15 pounds in the box and are looking to upgrade. You look very big. I can't yeah. tell. No. Hey, bro. Well, you might want to check him, bub. I'll check. With that fish not helping. 
time is running out for them to add to their weight total before the end of the day. And coming up, we head back to Florence and McFarland Park to see how these anglers fared on day one of competition. Weigh-in coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's begins next. Time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage inspired natural mat colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Here at Big Bite Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bite creek tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Gill, Dress Like a Pro, Temple Fork Outfitters, Power to the Angler, and by Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor, Swift, Silent, Secure. We're in Florence, Alabama. We're on Pickwick Lake in McFarland Park. And we are so excited to have the Boat U.S. Collegiate National Championship back for the seventh year. Friends, family, and fans alike are making their way out to day one weigh-in for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. More than 300 college anglers are on hand this week, staying at hotels, eating food around town, and most importantly, fishing on Pickwick Lake. The locals are thrilled to have them here and thoroughly support what they're doing. I love what the young people are doing in the sport of fishing. And to have it here, I, it just couldn't get any better than that. Find out more about Florence and make plans to visit here on your next vacation by going online to visit FlorenceAL.com. Back out on Pickwick Lake, the first flights of boats are beginning to pull up to the dock and anglers are anxious to weigh in their fish. We caught a lot of fish. We probably caught 75, 80 fish. It was a little tough getting that big bite. We got a couple of big bites, made them count. We got them in the live well, so that's all we can do. Uh, it was a pretty tough day. Uh, none of our schools really got fired up today. Couldn't catch them. We uh, caught a limit here in the last 30 minutes or so and got lucky. Coming to the stage now are Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd from Bethel University. 
They walk up to the scales looking to weigh in the first 20-pound bag of the day. All right, they've got a big five fish limit. We're only looking for 1992. And they do top the 20-pound mark, weighing 22.63 pounds. The current School of the Year leaders, Bethel University, have staked claim to the top spot on the leaderboard. An early start this morning helped propel them to this day one leading bag. We started off pretty hot this morning on our first spot. We uh, caught a bunch of fish and uh, it turned out pretty good for us. And tomorrow I think we're going to have to run some of the same areas we did today and try to catch another 22 plus pound bag. Their fellow teammates and a pairing that we followed throughout the day, Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon, weigh in with 21.69 pounds. Good enough for second at the moment. The only other team left to weigh in with a chance to threaten for the lead are Tristan Crowder and Lake Glassengame from the University of North Alabama. We needed 22.63 and we've got 22.60. That's as close as you can get without taking the lead. Y'all go ahead and get a couple of those out. Bringing in 22.60 pounds, Crowder and Blassingame set themselves up in good position to take a shot at the title on the final day. And there you have it, with the scales closed following the end of day one, here's a look at how the top 10 shook out. In first place are Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd from Bethel University with 22.63 pounds. In second, just three one hundredths of an ounce out of first, is the hometown team from UNA, Tristan Crowder and Lake Blassingame. Rounding out the top three is another team representing Bethel University. Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon finished day one in third place at 21.69 pounds. Day one is in the books, and when we resume coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, we follow the day two action out on Pickwick Lake. Oh, yes. Nice fish. A champion is set to be crowned, and who will be hoisting this trophy? Find out on the next episode of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Thanks for watching. This has been a Carico TV production. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough.